Welcome back to What RT Nibs with General Disturbance. This is a 105 Le FH 18B2, the French Tier 5 Premium SPG, otherwise known as a leaf blower or leffy to most ordinary players, but to What RT Nibs players, it's known as Fifi La Pew Pew. And it's located on the east spawn of Sand River under the command of Fun Fizza. Now, 105mm gun, a light field howitzer. A German gun mounted on top of a Char B1 chassis, which under the Germans was known as the B2, and he's moving off to his firing position. Now, Bumpers has actually sent in quite a few replays before, and some of them have been really excellent. So, I'm looking forward to seeing how you get on in this one. Well, he's aiming for the junction on the riverbed near the mosque, because that's where the heavies normally turn up. No sight of the enemy yet, but it won't be long. I think that M6 is going to get the first spot. Yes, he did. And there's a Churchill 3. Tier 5 Soviet heavy, and he got a nice hit there for 156 hit points. Got 88 following up behind, that's a tier 6 British tank destroyer. And another nice hit, 156 on him. And the Churchill's in cover at the moment, but we can still hit the 88. Lined up, ground out. Direct hit, 16 hit points. Only a tiny one, it must have hit the hard armour. Fires another round in, gets another hit on the rear of him this time, 124 hit points. Now the reload time Fampers has got is 7.51 seconds, that was another direct hit. So he's really quick. He's using coffee and croissant, oh that was a near miss that one. And that speeds up the reload. And round out. Oh, lovely hit there. 101 hit points right to the side of the 88. But we've lost sight of him. And we fire another round in and no joy. Now there are some enemies right in the south. Front. They are being engaged and Fumpers has spotted them. Yep. The enemy just lost the KV-1 out there. And now we've got an Excelsior. Rounds out. Direct hit and he wiped him out. The Excelsior went out with one shot that was a brilliant shot well the alpha damage from this gun is 410 but it can only penetrate up to 53 millimeters of armor 104 if it uses the heat ammunition and it can do 350 alpha with one of those and another direct hit on that 88 now Bumpers is only using standard he ammunition and the 88 has been killed and we got uh, 284 damage assistance there because we could, took out the tracks of that uh, 88. Okay, he's looking at an AMX CLC up in the north there. Tier 5 French light. No, no joy. So he's lining up another shot. And we've got an M4 improved and a Crusader. And they just took out a Type 64. We fire around in and right on target right on the M4 Improved. It's tracked him on one side. We fire another round in and wipe him out this time. So he must have been a bit, bit silly after that. But there again, if you're hit by one of these RTs, you need to get out of there quick because if you do get hit, more than likely you're going to get hit again very, very shortly afterwards. Okay, so we've got two kills now. And we're looking for a KVR. Now that's the KV2R, that's the premium version of the KV2 tank. And we can only just see the turret because he's in the cover of that rock. He's in defilade partially. You can just see him there. Fire around in. Oh, no joy. There is a T52, which is that premium light tank given out to those people who are in the alpha and the uh, beta trial and a few that have been long-term uh, players of world of tanks and wow oh he's flipped he's flipped over oh but he flips himself back up again 
That was a miracle for him. Oh, Funfizzer just fires at him and just misses. It's such a fast little tank. Very, very nippy. But he's taken big damage. And he just took out our Dickamax. Or was it? No, KV-2R took him out. And he's getting very close to us now, that T-52. And thankfully he's been killed. He was taken out by our bathtub, the S-35CA. So, scores. Well, we're one tank down on the enemy at the moment. Um, we've still got uh, six players. The enemy's got seven. Now, somebody's indicating there may be an enemy up in this little heights area. And that might be true. In fact, there's, there are a few spots where you can fire, blind fire, um, to get hits. That's one of them. But the other one's behind the bushes. Oh, we found that KV-2R again. And there he is. Dialing in. Can we get a hit? He's pulling back a bit. Rounds out. Should hit the engine bay. Oh, just went over the engine deck. Landed behind him and we found the enemy RT. And the Fifi's been killed. We fire at the KV-2R. This time we got a hit. 87 hit points. Looks like he fixed his track. So he may have burned his repair kit. We fire one at the rear of his vehicle again. Just miss. Got 15 rounds left. Rounds out. That hit. 99 hit points. Now we've got a Wizzy 131 GFT right back at the enemy base. It's a very narrow target to fire at. But oh my god, he got a big hit and he's got a fire. And the Wizzy 131 is burning up and he's gone. So he got an arsonist badge off that one. Blew him up by setting fire to him. But he's only got 11 rounds left, so he's going to have to be careful with the ammunition. Now, there's that KV-2R dialing in. Getting a nice tight aim. Rounds out. This should hit. It splashes in for 53. Still leaves him on 314, though. Need a couple of hits to take him out of the game. That's 106. Two more up like that will do it. Oh, we lose our KV-2. We fire one in. And we just hit the ground. So we've only got eight rounds of ammunition left. We'll need to be careful now. We'll have to conserve ammo. Oh, we fired one out at the KV-2. Not sure if that one hit, but we've now only got seven rounds left. We fire one at the T-35 TP and wipe him out with one shot. 284 hit points. That collected over 2k of damage. Well, we can't see that KV-2R. There are now four tanks left on the enemy team. A Stug 4, a KV-1, a T-3485, and that KV-2R. And we don't know where the KV-2R is, but it, I doubt if he'll have moved very far. Oh, we did see a building knocked down on the left there. Somebody's in the village, and it's a Stug 4. And he's coming up on our archer. Now, the archer is the only one spotting for us at the moment. And he's just around the corner waiting for the Stug 4 to pop round. We're lined up. If the Stug makes a move forward, we're going to hit him. But he's very reluctant to do so. And that might be because one of the other enemy team uh, members is moving up on the archer from behind. There's the Stug 4. We fire around in and wipe him out with one shot. 360 hit points. That must have been a, a penetration. And there's the KV-2R. We can kill him with one shot. Rounds out. And we got the kill. And that's six kills. That's a top gun. The archer's very happy. He's signaling the affirmative. But there are still two enemies out there. One's the T-3485M. The other's the KV-1. And the KV-1's got two kills already. And here he... Is that the KV-2? No, it's not. It's the KV-1, rather. It's the T-3485. So where is that KV-1? Is he coming up the riverbed? We don't know yet. We've only got four rounds of ammunition left. We need to make this ammo count. T-3485 has moved up. Will he come in? Oh, we fire around in. Get a hit. 118 hit points, but the archer's been killed. Okay, we're loaded. Round out. And another hit. 118. He's He was tracked, but it looks like he repaired it. He's moved on. Yep, he has moved on. And we've only got one round of ammunition left. 
So, oh, and there's a rock there. We just flipped over the rock. I'm sure that uh, Fun Fizzle can get down, but now he's going to have to use his view range, and he has got considerable view range. 390 meters, so we can see that T34, and he has been spotted, but we're just over the edge, and we can't bring the reticule to bed. That's it. Got it right now. And we took a hit. Fire one round out, and that's it. That's our ammunition gone. Got nothing left to fire. We did get a hit, but um, we're now totally defenseless. All we can do is expect the inevitable because um, you can't really run away in the BP. It's only got 28 kilometers per hour forward speed, um, 10 kilometers an hour backwards. And it's also fairly slow to traverse. It can only traverse at 22 degrees a second. So all he can do is now try and outwit the enemy for the next four and a half minutes. And to be honest, I don't think that is possible. Just going to try and make it as difficult as possible for the enemy to get at him. So I think what he's going to do is he's going to go defensive in this position. And if he can, ram the enemy. You remember, this is a heavy tank in disguise. It may be an RT, but it's built on a heavy tank chassis. So we're waiting for that T-3485 to turn up. And then we'll start trying to ram him to collect some more hit points off him. He was badly damaged. We know that for sure. We did four, 405 hit points of damage to him. Of three shots. It was really well played by uh, Fun Fizz. He was getting some absolutely marvellous shots. Here comes... Oh, it's the KB-1! And he's... Well, he's low on hit points as well. He's only got 77. But unfortunately, he, at the moment he comes down this dip, it's all going to be over. The KB-1 doesn't know we're out of ammo. That's the thing. He's very reluctant to get in front of the guns of Fun Fizz. Because he thinks Bunkers has still got ammo. And here comes the T-3485. And now he's a bit caught between a rock and a hard place. Here comes the KB-1. Flips himself over. Fires into our tracks and tracks us. And that's it. It's all over. So sad because Bunkers did play so well. He did at least get that top gun. I'm sure of that. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. It's an ace tanker for Fun Fizzer in the 105 Le FH-18B2, the Fifi La Piu Piu. He also managed to get a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got 19, an arsonist, because he set fire to that Wizzy 131 and it burned to death. He got a gorse medal for doing more damage than 10 times the hit points of his own vehicle. The high caliber for getting the most damage overall in the game and also a top gun for getting six kills. And it probably would have been seven kills or even eight kills. He might have got a Radlis if he had had enough ammunition left over to take the uh, um, the T-34, 85 and the uh, KV-1 out. And I don't think it would have taken more than one shot apiece on both tanks. But it was a defeat, unfortunately. Let's have a look at the end of battle of the team scores first. Well, 3,307 hit points of damage. The KV-2R, the premium one, managed to get 2,041 then their enemy Fifi managed to get 1,097 hit points of damage. Uh, when it came to kills, it was definitely Fun Fizzy. got the highest amount. He got a top gun. He got six kills. Next high score was KV-1, KV-2R, and the 25TP. All had three kills apiece. When it came to base XP, it was the KV-2R who managed to score the most. 989 hit point, uh, base experience points. Uh, the 25TP only managed 697, but Fun Fizzer managed to get more than him, 791 base experience points, because he played so well in that game. Let's have a look at detail report. He fired all 42 rounds of ammunition in his infantry. He only used standard HE. He got 21 direct hits, 5 penetrations and 19 splash, and quite a few of those shots were one-shot kills. He did damage of 3,307 hit points, and all of it was at more than 300 meters. He received three hits, two penetrations, one non-penetration, and he also did dam uh, damage nine in the enemy, killed six of them, and did damage assistance of 356 hit points. 
on a premium account, he earned 62,535 credits, got 20,583 for personal missions payout, and 6,075 for the Achievements Award. That's to equalise his score with that of the winning team because he was on the losing team but got an epic medal. He also brought up a total of 89,193 credits, and after repair and ammunition resupply, and the ammo is really cheap, he actually took away 82,747 credits. He received 1,187 XP, got 660 for the Achievements Award, 554 for the Personal Missions Payout, and 739 because this is one of the only few RTs that is a premium RT. Um, that the only other RT that's premium in the PC game is the Sexton 1, and that hasn't been on sale for a very long time. Um, the total experience points comes to 3,140. So a fine battle there by Funfizzer, but um, sadly he just ran out of ammo and ran out of teammates to spot for him. And in the end, it didn't work out okay. But um, yeah, I think, you know, he tried as hard as he could, but it wasn't to be on this occasion. But at least it was an ace tanker, and it's very difficult to get an ace tanker in the PP. So congratulations on getting that. If you enjoyed this replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel and hopefully it'll be your replay that I'll be featuring in the next video.